had quite a bit of clouds and also the showers sticking around. Though downpours today, not as bad as what we saw yesterday. Definitely picking up a lighter amount of rain. Still tracking some showers. Storm Tracker 9 showing the heaviest rain now. Western slopes of the Cascades and also some showers popping on up right near Newport. A few showers also lingering further to the south. We'll keep these light showers as we get into tonight as well as into tomorrow. Now over the past 24 hours, we picked up only about a tenth to two tenths of an inch out into central Oregon. But for those west of the Cascades, rainfall totals have been anywhere from about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch over the past 24 hours. Now, when you add on what we saw most of yesterday and even Friday night, which was about two to three inches out along the coast, one to two inches along I-5, and anywhere from about three to even six inches in both the coast range as well as the Cascade range, that really adds up quite a bit. So this rainfall again on top of what we saw yesterday, and we are still going to see mainly possibly just about a half an inch more all the way through Monday. So again, rainfall totals are slowly getting lower and lower. However, we'll have the full total of what we saw this weekend coming up uh, tomorrow, most likely. Still looking at rain showers pushing across the area. Also a lot of clouds out there, which will stick around as we get into tonight. There's still a lot more moisture off further to the west that's going to move in. So still keeping a few showers tonight and into tomorrow and even all the way through Tuesday morning. But we will have a break once we get into Tuesday afternoon. Take a look at Stormcast over the next 24 hours. Most of the rain, again, focused western slopes of the Cascades. We'll put things into motion, stopping at close to midnight. Still looking at the rain showers across the area and we'll continue to keep them into tomorrow morning. I know many of you do not have to wake up early to go to school or maybe not even go to work, but you might be heading out early to do some last minute Christmas shopping. Still expect those rain showers out there and also plenty of clouds. Still going to need a raincoat out there tomorrow morning, but by the afternoon tomorrow, just looking at isolated showers here or there. We'll still keep the clouds. It's not again until we get into Tuesday afternoon before finally we'll see a break from the rain. So out along the coast, expect those showers. Still that flood watch though until tomorrow afternoon. Still a lot of the river are very swollen and also some still at flood stage, but they're all expected to go down as we get into tonight. The Amco Basin, expect your highs into the upper 50s, looking at isolated showers for tomorrow. For those in the Cascades, rain showers even up all the way across the passes as those temperatures still in the low 40s. For Central Oregon, expect your highs into the mid 40s, looking at mostly cloudy skies, just a slight chance for a shower. And for the Willamette Valley, isolated showers again tomorrow. High temperatures will be back into those mid-50s, still about 10 degrees above average for this time of year. Seven-day forecast along the coast, showing that break Tuesday afternoon through Wednesday morning. However, rain does return late Wednesday afternoon, but we'll wrap up early Christmas morning on Thursday. We should have mostly dry day on Christmas Day. I'm um, Basin, also getting isolated showers for Monday, but we will see a break until about Wednesday morning before the heavy rain does return late Wednesday afternoon, wrapping up, though, early Thursday morning. The Cascades looking at rain showers through Wednesday, but we will see a transition back to snow showers as that snow line falls Wednesday night into a Thursday, even down to 2,500 feet. Very impressive there. Willamette Valley looking at isolated showers as well. Wrapping up Tuesday morning, we will have a break before heavier rain does return Christmas Eve, but that will wrap up also as well. Early Christmas morning should keep things cloudy, but temperatures noticeably cooler highs back into those mid 40s.